हेलो ऑल राइट सो हे एवरी वन दिस इज मी हर्षल जैन ए के विराज एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू बिल्ड अ रैट एन अमेज गेम सो दिस गेम इज बेसिकली सिंपल पजल एंड यू कैन मेक इट मोर कॉम्प्लेक्स बट या राइट नाउ वी आर टारगेटिंग अ सिंपल पजल सो दैट वी कैन बिल्ड अ लॉजिक फॉर दैट सो यू कैन सी आई हैव क्रिएटेड थ्री लेवल्स लेवल वन इज रियली सिंपल ओके इट्स फॉर अ चाइल्ड and level 1 will be really helpful for us to build the code okay that's why i have taken a easy level so that uh, if uh, you are a beginner then you don't face much difficulty in building this game okay so yeah you can see that we have level 2 and level 3 and so on you can create your own levels that's the approach okay but yeah i have chosen three random mazes and three levels are there okay so uh, how can we build this game this game is really simple okay uh, you can also uh, see that some people use algorithms there are many algorithms and you can see that uh, in data structure and algorithms especially uh, there's a concept uh, of backtracking for this same problem rat in a maze but yeah we are not going in that depth and that's that knowledge is not required okay some people might think that i am going to use these algorithms no this is a javascript project and i want i want to enhance your javascript skills okay not these uh, algorithms so just uh, watch this project and it will really help you and it's not uh, uh, for advanced people it's for beginners okay beginners can watch this project all right so uh, before starting uh, please uh, go to the description and we have actually provided a link and you can find the text uh, project building sessions coming up register to our full stack bootcamp course for free okay so they have provided the link and just go to this link and you'll find this page okay so this is basically our full stack bootcamp uh, course available at geeks for geeks practice uh, practice.geeksforgeeks.org uh, website and that's a free course so you can en enroll for this one and you can start that and yeah you can get all the material required for becoming a full stack developer and in the live section you can see that here we have a few uh, previously conducted live sessions they are basically zoom meetings uh, and these are the recordings but just watch this one uh, here we have on 21st january and 22nd january we have uh, two sessions part 1 and part 2 of uh, real time weather app using javascript and weather api so just watch these sessions they uh, will be available on 21st and 22nd january the links will be provided right here okay right now it's uh, written upcoming but yeah the links will be provided right here and uh, at that day and if you somehow aren't able to watch these sessions you can definitely check the recordings okay they are really beneficial if you want to make projects on javascript and uh, i'm trying my best and i'm trying my best to build actually uh, all of the javascript projects so you don't have to search everywhere how to build this how to build this uh, you'll get everything in one place that's our goal okay so you can check this one all right so uh, yeah now we can continue so before moving forward i wanted to show you how can you get the source code so for getting the source code uh, you can simply visit my github profile my github profile is github.com slash virajj014 you just have to write this on your uh, browser and it will take you to this page okay so yeah this is my profile and in the repositories you just have to visit the js underscore rat in a maze okay this is my repository but if you somehow don't find this repository you can simply search it here js underscore rat okay so yeah that's how you can find this repository because uh, my habit is to upload everything on github so uh, there are frequent changes here so you might not find that in future in the top okay so that's why i told you you can search it this way all right so yeah this is the repository and you can uh, actually take the source code from here day day one that is today's part is available here day two part two will be uploaded in the next session okay so yeah you can use this one and uh, you can actually modify this code or uh, whatever you want to do with this one all right so uh, also don't forget to follow me on github this is my github profile and yeah this is the link so i'll just share that on the live chat 
so some of you okay all right so now we can continue and uh, before continuing i wanted to go to this project once again and you can see i have created mazes all right can you pin here your github link uh aniket i have shared that on live chat you can check it, check that one okay so yeah you can see that i have created this maze this is also a maze this is also a maze okay this is a very simple uh, maze but trust me if you are able to build these simple simple mazes you can uh, you can build any more complicated mazes okay this is just your uh, it just requires time, more time to build a maze because i have built manually okay i have manually built this maze i could have built a, a maze automatically like uh, there are for, for loops and functions which build these mazes but the problem with them uh, is sometimes they don't actually give the correct path okay here you can see that we have a path which i can follow to take the rat to the cheese okay so yeah that's why i built these mazes manually so how can you build these ma mazes that's a really simple trick okay i actually built a matrix of 2d array and to build that that's really simple okay i'll just show you with an example you can see that i have uh, used canva basically canva is a uh, designer or uh, designer website so you can see that i have built a maze okay this yellow is by the way my correct path so you can see that this is a maze okay so just assume the path or the empty okay the empty you can assume that uh, i'll just make it as whole as white okay so this will be more easier so yeah i guess now it's more easier to judge and assume the black color boxes to be the walls all right and this white will be the space where our rat can move okay this will be the simple logic to create a maze this uh, the zero will point to the wall and one if i represent one in the matrix that simply means empty space zero will be the wall okay so the rat will move definitely move in empty space not the wall so um, yeah suppose this is our rat this is our rat okay this is our rat it will move in this way okay it can move in this way okay whatever wherever is the white path it can move but the rat can't be over this black space because this is the wall that's what the logic says okay so just create a matrix how can the matrix be created suppose uh, i write zero if i chose zero okay and uh i'll actually mark my matrix as uh, a wall as zero okay the wall will be zero so wherever the wall is it will be marked as zero so i'll actually suppose this is the maze of four cross four okay four rows four columns so all of the walls all of the walls will have zero value will have zero value okay so you might be getting a somewhat of the knowledge and again if i talk about free space all right just give me a one okay this will work if i'm talking about the free space free space is what this one is the free space again i can represent all of the free spaces with this one okay all of the free space with this one so this will be actually our matrix you can see now we got a matrix and wherever there is a free space that is white space okay i'll actually take white color as the free space that's why i have chosen and wherever is the free space it will be a one okay so yeah you can see now we got our simple matrix okay now you can represent this same matrix on your code that's how a maze can be created okay you can also create complex mazes like this but i have shown you how can you create in a very simple way all right so you can uh, do you don't need to use canva by the way this is just a representation okay it helps me a lot that's why i use this one but you can use actually use any software or pen paper anything to act, uh, to build a maze okay this is uh, just for building maze okay nothing else so i have built a simple maze and i have actually built three simple mazes and you can see that here i have built three mazes using the same logic okay these are actually matrix of uh, some size okay the first one is i guess 1 2 3 4 4 cross 4 and the second one will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 so they are actually 6 cross 6 and the third one is 
uh, I guess it was 10 cross 10. Okay, so these were the matrix and you can create any of them with the same logic which I have shown you right now. All right, so now we'll jump to the code. And our goal is actually to build the uh, build the HTML and CSS part of the code. So the JavaScript logic, the imp most important JavaScript logic will be covered tomorrow. That is in part two. But in part one, that is today's video, we'll cover the HTML, CSS, we'll build the maze and we'll actually position the rat and the cheese. All right. So now we can jump with our code and just make sure you subscribe to this channel because uh, these projects actually take a lot of time and hard work to be built so please subscribe and uh, you can also watch the other projects if you haven't all right so now we can create a new folder named as rat in a maze and uh, i'll just create a new folder here and here we can write js underscore r a t i n in a m a z e all right so yeah, this is my folder and I'll just open it with VS code. So it has opened in VS code. So I'll just create a new file index.html index.html. Okay, right now I'm just going to write everything uh, style.css. Uh, I mean the stylings and the uh, JavaScript part in the same page. Okay, the basic things which we are going to use today and later on I'll just shift them to another files all right so yeah this is our basic html boilerplate if you don't know how to get this simply just press exclamation mark and this is the exclamation uh, mark which we get on our keyboard so yeah that's how you can get the uh, html boilerplate and one more thing is required the live server extension so for that you can simply click this one and simply go to live server okay live server so this is the live server extension just install this one and when, then we are good to go all right so i'll just open it before moving on i'll just check if it's working so i'll just write hey and i'll open with vs code i mean open it with live server so yeah it's working we can see our text so i'll just close this one because it's not required right now or just let it be all right we are in this page so uh, i'll just start writing the basic templates codes required by html and then we'll move to the javascript and css part all right so i hope uh, the code is somewhat visible to you all okay if you face difficulty in watching this code you can uh, change the resolution of your video okay live stream and if you still can't watch the text part here then definitely you can ask me to increase the size but i i guess it's visible okay so we can move forward and now i'll start with the basic html which will be required okay so for the basic html we can simply first give it a heading because the heading can be rat in a maze so i'll simply write uh, h1 tag and we can name it as rat in a maze okay so this will be our heading and then there's a very little use of HTML in this one. So just don't worry about the HTML. But yeah, we'll use a little bit more intermediate level of JavaScript. So uh, I'll just uh, simply create a option selector. Okay. So we can select the levels. All right. So it's up to you if you want to create levels or not. But uh, I wanted to create levels so that you can trust me that it will work on each kind of uh, maze. Okay. Any maze. Okay. That's why I'm creating levels. So that's what the use of these uh, options. Okay, so I'll just give it an option, option value equals. And some of you might be wondering why am I getting these suggestions? So I am actually using a, a extension named as GitHub Copilot. Okay, so you can use that one, or you can also use Tab Nine. These are really great extensions. They give me suggestions of the code. You can see that. That's how I get and it saves a lot of time that's why i use these extensions but it's not recommended for beginners so uh, i have created three levels and you can see that now we are getting our three levels all right so this is the basic select option tag and then inside uh, after this one we can uh, create a division in which we will get our maze okay so we can simply give it an id of id equals m a z e dash c o n t a i n e r okay so this is our maze 
and we are not going to create a maze inside this we are going to simply provide the images here okay the images of what uh, the images of our rat and the food okay so i'll just bring my images here and if you want the images you can simply visit my github repository i'll just show you how can you get that so just visit my github profile github.com slash viraj014 and here we will get the right in a maze repository and here you can see that i have the food.png image okay so this is the image you can download this one if you don't find any food image all right i hope uh, you will get this repository yeah so this will be the rat image so you can find these images and you can download this repository or take out the images from here i have my images so i'll just use these images directly okay so this is the food image uh, rat loves the cheese slice so i have taken the cheese and here we have the rat okay so uh, rat looks cool i guess okay he looks cool so now we can continue i want to show my rat and cheese in the maze okay these are really important so i'll just create a image tag and i'll give it an source of rat dot png okay so this will be my rat and i'll just give it an id of rat okay so this it has an id of rat again we are having the same uh, image tag img tag with the source of cheese.png okay i have written food.png i have the file named as food.png all right so just import the file here and then we are good to go and i'll just rename it as food okay so yeah so you can put as uh, you can put any food here if you don't want cheese all right so this is the food image and uh, now we are going to style this and actually i want one thing that is the width the width of this image can be 50 height can be 50 so i'll just keep it in pixel so you'll have a better understanding so i want my rat to be of 50 and 50 and same for the food 50 and 50 all right so these are the my uh, these are the rat uh, this is my rat and this is my uh, food all right so this is the simple uh, simple uh, maze which we have created but right now you must be wondering where is the maze okay i just have created the container and inside this i have created the rat and uh, this food so how and how can we create the maze here comes the javascript part now we are going to implement the javascript first then we will go to the css part okay so for going to the javascript i'll just write here the script tag okay i'm not creating any specific file right now i'll just write the javascript here first so inside this i'll just create my level one first and then we'll check the same for level two and level three so level one is nothing but a simple matrix so what is our level one i have created the simple matrix here you can see that here i have created the simple matrix so you can see that i have one zero one zero so i'll just write one zero one zero all right so i'll just shift it a bit more here so you can get a better understanding so you can see that we have our level one array here and we actually want to create a 2d array that is a matrix all right so for that we can simply write the numbers here now so one zero one and zero okay this is the first row again we are going to write the same for the second row and the third row and the fourth row i'm assuming that we are uh, taking level one as four cross four matrix okay you can choose different type of matrix matrix i'll just show you how for different levels so yeah one 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 again we'll write the same for one zero one zero okay so one simply represents the empty space and zero represents the wall where the rat can't go okay so zero is the wall and the last one is one zero comma one comma one okay so this is our simple matrix you can see that the numbers are used here and now you'll get the idea how how the matrix can be created all right so now i'll just jump back to my page and here we'll create the uh this is my level one similarly i'll go to create i'm going to create level two and level three but right now i'm just writing level one here okay so i'll just write let maze array m-a-z-e-a-r-r-a-y is level one okay 
we are going to manipulate this maze array that's why i have stored level one inside this maze array okay so now what we can do is i'll just create a function which creates the maze okay right now you aren't, aren't able to see any maze because i haven't created the maze okay i've just made a division and two images so for creating the maze let's create a function and i'll just first target my maze so my my maze is actually in this id so i'll just write let maze e maze equals maze container okay so this is my maze and If I do the same for my food, okay, for rat and food, so I'll just target them also. So I'll write the document on get element by id rat and again I'll write the same for food. Okay, so I have targeted these three because these three will be manipulated throughout. So yeah, I have targeted my maze that is having an id maze container rat and food. Okay, you can see that it has id maze container rat and food. All right, so yeah, we have targeted all of these three. Now we are going to create a function which will create our maze. So I'll write function create maze. Okay, create maze. And yeah, inside this we are simply going to create a for loop which will actually check if if it's one then it's an empty space. If it's zero then it's a wall. Okay, if it's one then it's an empty space. If it's zero then it's a wall. That logic will be created. So we'll actually traverse the for loop row by row. Okay, first we are going to target the first row and in first row we are going to create another loop which will target this first element. Okay, that is the first column. First row, first column, then first row, second column, then first row, third column, then first row, fourth column and so on. Okay, so for creating the row, I'm just talking about row right now and I'll just represent the row as i. Okay, so i is 0, let i is 0 and then we are going to check the elements uh, of this maze array dot length so what is the maze array dot length you can simply see that this is the one ele ele uh, first element okay for this maze array you can see that if you try to find this uh, its length this will be the zeroth index this will be the first index this will be the second index this will be the third index okay that's the logic and the length will be four Okay, so I'm just writ I have just written here maze array dot length automatically four will come up here. But if you have a bigger uh, maze, then automatically its size will be taken here. All right. So how will our, how will uh, how will the array traverse? You can simply see that we have assigned the for loop from i equals zero. Zero simply means the zeroth index of this maze array. What is the zeroth index? This is the zeroth index. Okay. Again, if the i will increment. Okay, for incrementing the i, I'll just write i plus plus and i'll perform some task here okay again if i increments then zero will become one so this will be the first index then we'll perform operation inside this again i will increment then zero will become uh, one will become two okay so i's value is now two so again it will perform some operations now i will increment and then i will become three all right so now i is three and some uh, some uh, operations will be performed now if i becomes four after i plus plus then this condition will become false because i want my length to be greater than i okay four can't be greater than four so this condition will be false so only till three that is zero one two three the uh, the for loop will work all right so i have targeted the i that is all the rows right now you can see that i have targeted each row i equals zero i equals one i equals 2 and i equals 3 okay these are the rows now inside this we are going to target the columns now suppose i am in i equals 0 in i equals 0 i am going to target this first column then second column then third column then fourth column again i will increment i will target the first column second column third column and fourth column again i will increment first column second column third column fourth column and so on okay so this will be the logic so inside this i'll just first create my row element okay i'll just simply uh, create an element inside this inside this okay inside this maze container i'm simply creating a division inside this and i'll just name it as row okay so this will be the simple uh, division which will be created inside this whenever this for loop will run for every row okay that means this row will be created four times because i will run four times okay so this will create uh, four rows so for more clarity i'll simply create four divisions okay i'll just simply create four divisions 
so these four divisions will be created and i'll just comment this out now four rows have been created now in each row now in each row we are going to perform the task so i'll just add the class list as row okay so this simply means that if i just uncomment this first i'll just add a class row to it okay so we are actually creating four divisions we'll actually create four divisions for every i which will have class row okay so basically what i mean when i equals zero this will be created okay so yeah now we can simply write if i equals zero this row will be created same for the rest four okay so if i equals one this row will be created and so on okay so in total four rows will be created so these four rows will be created now we can move further so we have added classes okay the class name is row we have added the row okay we have added the class as row now four have been added now inside this we are going to target column okay initially we are in zero row. we are in the zero row. that is i equals zero okay now inside this we are going to target the zeroth column then the first column then the second column then the third column because this is an array that's why i'm start, uh, starting from zero okay zeroth index first index second index third index okay so now i'll again target the for let j equals zero this is our zeroth column and then we'll again check whose length we have to check maze array ith index okay we are in the ith row we are in the ith row its length is 4 okay its length is 4 its length is 4 its length is 4 okay whatever is the row whose uh, we length have to, uh, its length we have to find okay so in the zeroth row in the zeroth row that is i equals 0 we can see that its length is 4 so automatically 4 will come up here and i'll just have to write here dot uh, length okay so you can see this is also an array this is also an array this is also an array so we actually have an array inside this we have different arrays okay that's what a 2d array is all right so we have this length that is 4 that means that j will run from 1, uh, 0 1 2 3 okay 0 uh, j will run for 0 1 2 3 and then it will end okay again i will increment then j will run again for 0 1 2 3 then again i will increment i will run till uh, 3 all right so i'll just explain that later on now inside this we will increment j okay now we are in the zeroth index of this maze array okay that is the zeroth row and then inside this we have in this we are in the zeroth column that is one okay that is this one so now inside this i'll just create an element named as cell okay so i'll just write document dot create create element and its name will be uh, i'll just write a division here first okay and then i'll just add a class list as cell dot class list dot add all right so simply it will create a division inside this division okay initially we are in the zeroth zeroth row okay so it will actually create four divisions because this j loop will run four times so these elements will be created four times okay so that's how it will work same will be done for the next iteration for i okay same will be done for the next iteration for i same will be done for the next iteration of i all right so you can see that for i equals zero j will run four times for i equals one j will again run four times for i equals two j will run four times for i equals three j will run four times when i becomes four the for loop will end this outer for loop will end so we'll go out of this function okay so now we have created four cells now inside this we have to check if the value whatever the value we are in suppose we are in this first cell we are in this first cell this first cell simply represents what it simply represents this first item that is one okay now this second cell this second cell represents what second cell represents this zero all right now this third cell third cell represents this uh, this one 
okay now this fourth cell of i equals 0 i'm talking about i equals 0 only now this fourth cell represents this zero again if i increments i increments we are in this one this cell will actually have its first value this first value and so on okay so that's how this cell will have values and now i'll check if this value is one then the cell is a uh, empty space if its value is zero then the cell is a wall okay so we can simply write here if nays array for i equals zero right now we have i equals zero and initially j will also be zero and it is equal to zero okay like, like if we are checking we are on the zeroth index zeroth zeroth row zeroth row and zeroth column so for zero comma zero you can see the value is one the value is one so this case will be false now for 0 comma 1 that is the 0th row but first column its value is 0 then this case will run okay so now we can see that if the value is uh, 0 we'll actually consider this as a wall so we can simply write cell dot class list dot add and i'll simply write wall okay so we have created a wall so that's it and after that we can simply uh add this we ha also have to add this row so for that we can simply write row dot append child it simply adds this cell to this row class list okay it simply adds this cell to this row class list that's what we have done here we have added this cell to this row class okay and now we have also uh, we, we also have to do the same for this row also so just come out of the uh, this for loop and we can simply write maze dot append child because we have to append this inside this maze container okay we have to append this row inside this maze container so that's what we have done here you can see that we have a maze container and we have appended this row division okay four row divisions because four uh, i will run four times all right so yeah we have appended all of them and now we can check this so for checking we can simply uh, run this create maze so for running this create maze we can apply a simple trick okay whenever the page loads we can simply call this function so we can directly call it here or we can call it below okay it won't cause any effect so i'm just creating this function here i'm just calling this function here so i'll write on load create m a z e okay so now you can see that whenever the page loads this function will be called but yeah we aren't able to see anything why we are not able to see anything because we haven't given the uh, stylings to it so we'll first give it stylings also so I'll write S T Y L E. Okay. So I hope uh, the name is create maze. Okay, it's fine. So inside this, what happened? Create maze is not defined. Create maze is not defined. Why it's not defined? okay now it's okay i thought that what happened all right so now we can continue inside this first of all inside this first of all we have to uh, give a few stylings so in the style container i'll first write star margin as zero margin as zero and padding as zero okay so this is the initial styling which i recommend to everyone it will actually remove all the pre-existing margin and padding from your elements now we are going to create the body and i'll just give it a background color of uh, this light red okay this is a background color i've given this one you can choose any other background color again i want my items to be in center so for that we can simply write display flex and flex direction as uh, row or you can just remove this because uh, by default it's flex direction as row and then we can write align items center and we actually want our items to be in column so we can write flex direction as column okay yeah now they are in column and one more thing i'll just write justify content center okay they are not in center because we have to give 100 percent width 
hundred percent width and hundred percent height. Okay, so now we can see that they are in center. All right, now we can continue and we have our items in center. First, we will target the H1 tag that is this heading right in a maze. So for targeting this H1, we'll simply write font size as 50 pixels. Okay. Then color can be white. Uh, I'll just give it a margin bottom of 20 and font family, some font family courier. Okay. So yeah, you can see that we got our H1 tag. You can style it a bit more if you like, but I have just given it a simple styling. Okay. Again, we are going to target the maze container. Okay. So if I write hashtag M A Z E dash C O N T A I N E R. Okay. Uh, you just have to simply write border as 10 pixel. Okay. You can choose any width of border solid black okay so this is the border of maze you can see now we have we actually have our maze all right so inside this what we can do uh, let's first create the row and the row the row and cell stylings okay so for that we can simply target the row class and i'll just also before that i'll just create my cell first okay so right now i'm just leaving it as empty and then we jump to the cell class and inside this i'll just choose a specific width for it so i'll just choose 50 pixel okay 50 pixel would be the width and it will be the 50 pixel so you can see now we have a few elements cells we have we can see that we have our cells but right now it's not aligned because we haven't uh, specified anything so for that we can simply write display as flex okay so it will actually uh, bring the cells for a particular row in a row okay so display flex simply does flex direction as uh, uh, by default flex direction is row okay so whatever is present inside a particular row that is four cells are present currently so you can see that they are in a row all right so for more clarity i'll just give it a border of black so yeah we can see that we have our four cells which are in a row or if i remove this one if i remove this one you can see now now it's spoiled okay so that's why i have given this one so yeah now it's fine and after this we can actually target what uh i'll just change its background color to white okay so yeah now you can see that our cells are of white color after this uh, since we have our cells we have also created the walls you can see that we have also created the wall okay so for the wall i'll just write the wall styling here and the wall will actually uh, be of background color black so you can see now we have the walls and this is exactly same as what exactly what uh, what we imagined you can see that it's exactly same of what we imagined okay this is the matrix which we provided and it's exactly same okay so we have created the maze very easily okay so it took a uh, some uh, it took some brain brain but definitely we created this so after this we have created the maze container and now what we can do is we can style this one okay so before styling this one i'll just create the rat i'll just uh, st uh, store the rat in the first first block and this also in the last one okay so for that first let's target this rat so for that i'll just target the rat id and then we, we can give it a position as absolute so if you give it a position absolute and you can see that this is the position absolute and also we can give it a top as zero pixel so it will actually go to the top and left as zero pixel now how to bring this in the box so for that we can simply go to this maze container and i'll just give it a position as relative okay now it's working and you can see that it's pretty fine again we can do the same for what same can be done for this food okay so for food i'll just bring it to the end okay so for bringing this to the end i'll simply bring it here okay now it's fine and you can see that i'll just make it as bottom zero and right zero so it will actually take me to the bottom right bottom zero and right zero pixel okay so now you can see that the food is in right 
all right so now it's pretty fine and one more thing i actually wanted to add a few more stylings to this so uh, by default it's display uh, it's uh, a division is not display flex but i have given display flex and then we give it a flex direction as column all right and one more thing we can give it a bit of max content whatever the content inside this that much width will be taken by maze container and also we want border radius as uh, suppose i'll just give it a 10 pixel and same can be done for height also okay so yeah you can see that now our maze is looking okay and after this you can actually give it a thin and light border okay so yeah you can see that we have a light border so it's up to you and i don't recommend this also you can give it a border of one pixel solid black okay now you can see it's perfect okay you can manipulate this border if you want uh, if you don't want any border you can remove this one okay you can remove this one or you can actually make this border as white it will work okay so if you make this white it will actually be blank you can see that we don't have any border so it's up to you but i'll just choose a little bit of gray color so that we can see that where are the blocks okay so uh, this is the maze and we have also the uh, the select tag okay so for the select tag i'll just provide some simple stylings so the select tag will have uh suppose i'll just give it a width of 150 and border radius of 20 pixels and border as none okay and then margin bottom we have to give the margin bottom to be 20 pixels all right and font size can be increased to 20 pixels font family can be this one and padding can be 10 pixel 20 pixel from left and right okay so yeah you can see now we have this level one level two and level three selector and it's looking pretty much okay all right so after this what we need to do we need to add more levels okay so for adding levels for adding levels uh i have given level one here okay i have given level one here similarly i have created level two here okay so i have created a similar level two and if i just change this level one to level two you, you will be able to this level uh, see this level okay so this is the level two and again we are going to apply the same level three also so you can create multiple levels okay like this okay i have shown how level one was created you can create level two and level three similarly okay so if i just make it as level three you can see that we got our complex maze okay so that's how these levels will be updated but we want this to be updated with level 1, level 2 and level 3 selection. Okay, so how this will be done? We can simply uh, do this by a uh, very simple logic. So I have uh, given default as level 1 and I'll also uh, get what level is selected. So initially obviously level 1 will be selected. By, uh, selected. So uh, I have targeted this ID level select that is this select tag okay that is select tag is targeted and initially the value will be obviously one okay the initial initial value is obviously the first one that is one but if i change it to two then this its value will become two its value will become two and so on three and four and so on okay and that's how the level will be updated uh, only three levels are being provided right here you can see the three values will be provided so three values will be uh any of these three can be taken okay so from these three values now we are going to build a logic here we will create a function so the function uh first we'll actually check by an event listener we'll add an event listener whenever there is a change in this level okay wherever whenever there is that there is a change in this select tag okay initially by default it's level one but if i change it to level two then this will work okay then this will work all right so here we can see that if there is a change in value okay then i'll call a function you can create a function anywhere else inside this i write let level equals 
level dot value so what will be the value it will simply be uh, suppose if 2 is uh, value 2 is selected okay level 2 is selected and definitely 2 will come up here okay if 2 will come up here then this event will run okay then this evil wind uh, event will run because there is a change and 2 will be stored inside this level variable okay after this i'll check if level variable is equal to 1 then maze array value maze array values are from level 1 okay maze array is level 1 so uh, by default i have set this maze array as level 1 okay again if if the value is level 2 then the maze array is level 2 if the value is level 3 then the maze array is level 3 okay let's check if i click level 2 and level 3 we are actually not getting anything why we are not getting anything let's let's reload this first you can see that we are not getting anything okay how can we check this uh have i targeted it level select okay its id is level select and let's check if it's working or not so for that what i can do is simply print this level okay so i'll just console log level okay and let's check if it's working or not so i'll just inspect this console and if i change this level to level 2 see that cannot access level before initialization okay all right so what it actually does was i haven't made it capital l so now it will work and if i just make it bigger and if i change this to level 2 we got 2 and again we got 3 all right now it's working fine and but after this we are actually not able to get this why we are not able to get this okay before uh, i have changed the level okay you can see that i have changed the maze array value but we have we actually have to reset the game also okay so for resetting the game we have to call this function again so i'll just call this function again so if i just make it as level 2 now you can see it's been updated but what happened is previous previous inner html is not uh, being deleted so for that we can simply do one thing you can simply write maze dot inner html equals blank okay but if we create it as a blank you can see that the rat and that cheese has gone so for bringing them we have to provide them here okay so i'll just copy this just copy this part and paste it there only okay just make it uh, single inverted comma or back tick because double is used in site okay and yeah after this i hope what happened here is okay let's check what happened okay let's do one thing i'll just give it a back tick so that it will work yeah for back tick it will work uh okay i guess there was a single inverted comma somewhere that's why it wasn't working now it will work so if i change it to level 2 you can see that the these are here but we also have an issue what what issue is here we can see that we have an id and everything looks fine but what happened here is if i just give it a back tick like this okay a back tick like this and now let's check it first so, so right now i'm just checking it for the rat so if i make it level 2 okay something is wrong what what's wrong here uh src is this rat dot png id okay i guess this is because of the space and if i just remove the space then it will work all right so now let's check again there we have a problem what's the problem id equals rad width equals this 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 yeah now it's fine it's because of the img and the space all right now we can do the same for this uh, food one 
okay so i'll just paste the food one also and now i guess it will work so you can see that it's pretty fine and it's changing for each level okay now you might be wondering how will we how will we manipulate the position of this rat or this food so for that we can simply create functions okay i'll just create a simple function right now i'm just creating this simple function and later on we'll add changes to it so uh, for that i'll just write function and we will name this as suppose we'll name it as set rat t o s i t i o n okay so this will manipulate the rat position and similarly i'll i'll just make another function for food position suppose so set food position okay so uh, although we we will only change the rat position by the way but uh, i have created the food position so that if somebody wants a random food position then then definitely you can use this one so what will we actually take here is x and y so what are these x and y you can see that initially we have provided this food as top 0 and left 0 okay so if i make the top as 50 so there will be some change right if i make the left as 50 there will be some change okay so that change which will uh, it will be happening from here okay so we are going to provide two values x and y now i'll just write whatever the value is provided just convert that just convert that okay so if x is 100 the rat stop will become 100 pixel okay so same will be done for left and we can do the same for this food also okay so for food we can change this to uh i'll actually change this to bottom okay so bottom and bottom and right okay so for food it's from the bottom and for, for the right it's from the top all right so these are the uh, these are the functions which we are going to use to manipulate the position and now let's check if they are working or not so for for them we can simply apply this whenever we are initializing it so uh, for that we can simply call these functions so suppose if i call this uh, call this set right position and let me just make it smaller okay so now just observe this one okay so if i just make it 10 comma 10 you can see the rat moved a little bit okay and if i make it 50 because we are actually working in 50 50 okay so 50 50 you can see that now it's little bit here okay if i make it 150 it actually moved in uh, this direction okay so now it's working fine and if i just manipulate it if i if i want want my rat to be in the cheese position so i'll increase it by so i'll make it 150 okay so you can see that by manipulating this the rat is moving okay same can be done for the food so if i just do the same for food the food is here okay so if i manipulate the food's position if i make it in 100 you can see now it's here okay if i bring the food in suppose in any black box uh for that we can simply make it 50 first and i'll make it 100 right now we are just playing with this these values are not important okay you can see that the, now the food is in black box so that's how that's how we can manipulate this positions but this is just a simple explanation how can we manipulate them but this logic will be used in the next video uh, with the better explanation okay but right now we have just created the simple uh, rat maze game and in the next video what we are going to do we are actually move uh, we will actually move this rat with the wsd keys okay upward downward uh, left and right okay the rat will be able to move with the, those keys and then if the rat catches this cheese if the rat eats that that cheese then definitely it's a win and that's the logic will be built okay so i hope you like this video and before ending this video i wanted to show you one thing I wanted to show you one thing. Uh, hi, Dhruv, how are you? So, uh, I'll just explain the rest of the part later on, okay, in the next video. That is the further logic for the project. But before ending this video, I'll just show you the GitHub repository, okay? So, for visiting this GitHub repository, you can simply go to my profile github.com slash viraj014 i've shared the link in the live chat you can check my repository here i have provided the source code okay so you can simply see we have js underscore rat in a maze 
all right so if you don't find this one you can simply search in js underscore r a t so you can see that we have right in a maze all right so you can visit this code and you can use this code this is of day one and day two will be definitely updated in the next session you can check that out all right so i hope you like this video and before ending this uh, just check out the description we have provided a link for full stack bootcamp course okay uh, you will find that in the text uh, project building sessions coming up register to our full stack bootcamp course for free and here they have provided the link this project this course will pop up and this is basically a full stack bootcamp course this is a free course just enroll for this one and here we have the uh, theory material which will be required for a, a full stack development uh, career and here we have the live session so in the live session you can see that on 21st january and 22nd january we have two upcoming sessions uh, on weather app using weather api with javascript so you can attend these sessions the links will be provided here uh, right now it's written upcoming but the links will be provided here and if you aren't able to watch these sessions somehow you can check out these recordings all right so i hope you like this video and uh, we'll see you in the next one till then see ya have a good day bye bye